Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection is from Surah 3, Ali Imran, or The Family of Imran, verses 102 through 109. These verses counsel the faithful to live Islam, die as a Muslim, and not to be divided amongst ourselves, for there is punishment for those who divide Muslims into sects. Tafsir for this selection concerns the fear of God in verse 102 and the characteristics of a Muslim community in verse 104. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. O believers, Fear Allah as he should be feared, and die not but as true Muslims. All together hold fast to the rope of Allah, or the faith of Islam, and be not divided among yourselves. Remember Allah's favors upon you when you were enemies. He united your hearts, so by his favor you became brethren. You were at the brink of the fiery pit, and he saved you from it. Thus Allah makes his revelations clear to you, so that you may be rightly guided. Let there arise from among you a band of people who should invite to righteousness, enjoin good and forbid evil. Such are the ones who shall be successful. Be not like those who became divided into sects and who started to argue against each other after clear revelations had come to them. Those responsible for division and arguments will be sternly punished on the day when some faces will be brightened with joy and others darkened with gloom. To the dark-faced sinner, it will be said, Did you adopt the way of disbelief after embracing the true faith? Then taste the punishment for having adopted the way of disbelief. As for the bright-faced ones, they will be in Allah's mercy and abide therein forever. These are the revelations of Allah. We recite them to you in truth. Allah intends no injustice to the world's. All that is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to Allah, and all matters return to Allah for decision. Amin. Now concerning the fear of God in verse 102, quote, Fear is of many kinds. 1. The abject fear of the coward. 2. The fear of a child or an inexperienced person in the face of an unknown danger. 3. The fear of a reasonable man who wishes to avoid harm to himself or to people whom he wishes to protect. 4. The reverence which is akin to love, for it fears to do anything which is not pleasing to the object of love. The first is unworthy of man. The second is necessary for one spiritually immature. The third is a manly precaution against evil as long as it is unconquered. And the fourth is the seedbed of righteousness. Those mature in faith cultivate the fourth. At earlier stages, the second or third may be necessary. They are fears, but not the fear of Allah. The first is a feeling of which anyone should be ashamed. Unquote. Now, concerning the Muslim community in verse 104, quote, The words, Mufli, Aflaha, Fala. The root idea is, Attainment of desires, happiness in this world and in the next, success, prosperity, freedom from anxiety, care, or a disturbed state of mind, the opposite of adhab in the next verse, which includes failure, misery, punishment or penalty, agony or anguish. The ideal Muslim community is happy, untroubled by conflicts or doubts, sure of itself, strong, united, and prosperous, because it invites to all that is good, enjoins the right, and forbids the wrong, a masterstroke of description in three clauses. Unquote. 
This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.